All right, guys. Thanks for joining again. The Real Shot 256, bringing you another nightly crypto evening crypto video on the latest and greatest. Uh, today we're going to talk about the overall state of the market real quick. Just check things out, get a pulse for pulse for what's going on in the crypto sphere. Also, we're going to talk about um, the Bitcoin SV pump uh, that was uh, presented today. Uh, if you can look at, we'll we'll look at the price of Bit, um, Bitcoin SV here. Um, 89% move on the day. I checked that out earlier. I think it was around 40% and it's doubled since uh, earlier today. So uh, we'll talk about that and then we'll, we'll we'll get into a couple more stories of the day and uh, you know how it all relates to Bitcoin and the overall crypto market. So let's get right into it. Um, we see the price of Bitcoin going uh, so far at 80, 86.92. We did see a little bit of a dip this morning. We're going to go into the look at the four hour, maybe the one hour too. Um, we did see a little bit of a dip earlier, uh, but overall, I mean, we're still we're still very bullish. I mean, we're the, the volume is still up in the last 24 hours. It's still you know at 87 billion, which is pretty good. Uh, Bitcoin dominance it's still at 55 percent, which means that a lot of people are very bullish on Bitcoin right now. Uh, a lot of people are dumping their money back into Bitcoin. Obviously, that's that's what this means. And, uh, you know, people are feeling safer uh, investing their money into Bitcoin and, and just, you know, feeling very bullish about what Bitcoin is, is going to do and is currently doing. So um, uh, I share that sentiment. I think that's what's really happening uh, currently in the uh, crypto sphere. So um, taking a look at the chart here, we're again at 86.93. Uh, we're still looking bullish. I mean, it it breached the 20 the uh, 21 um, EMA but then you know it bounced right off of the um, this red 30 simple here and it respected it um, like it's his grandfather and uh, just you know there's a lot of buying pressure here and just brought it back up to its you know, sort of its normal regular levels up here um, I do think we're gonna start a another um, let's look at the one hour here. Another um, bullish uh, formation here. We can already start to see it's creating sort of another uh, another triangle here. Um, let's map this out here real quick for you guys to see. Uh, and this has kind of been the trend, right? I mean, uh, look at this here. Another triangle that was forming. And I did this on my last video. I showed you guys how Bitcoin's just been generating these these same formations and then break to the upside. So no surprise there. Again, you know, doing TA yeah, on Bitcoin right now is super easy. Uh, you just follow the trend. There's not a whole lot of science. Um, although, you know, you, we, we do use these these uh, these exponentials, moving averages to calculate and got to get a feel for, you know, what Bitcoin is doing and overall what the um you know what the sentiment is so clearly we can see that we're above every moving average i'm going to go back to the four hours so we can see a little better um it also has a little bit more of a more of a uh, weight on um weight on on price action um so taking a look here it is forming another another uh bullish formation here the bullish triangle ascending triangle again they've always in this pattern since we've been on this bullish run um it's always broken up to the upside so uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and respect that and um, keep the same mentality that i've been keeping since the start of this bull run back in uh, april um, until it fizzles out um, right now i think uh again we're probably going to see the 9,000 range pretty soon here within the next couple of days maybe by by the weekend um and then uh, we'll reassess from there, see how Bitcoin reacts to that, where it stabilizes, and then we can kind of start figuring out what the outlook will be for the for the following week or maybe a couple couple next weeks. Um, but um, yeah, right now nothing's really changing. Everything is you know as per usual, so I wouldn't be shorting it right now. Um, I did set a couple of uh, a couple of buy orders right around this range. I actually um, triggered one out of my three buy orders. I had set another buy order at 4,800, um, 8, sorry, 
8,400. Um, I was $10 away from that actually hitting. So um, no big deal. We'll, 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 uh, we'll probably wait for the next dip. And if it doesn't come, I still have a pretty good significant amount of, of, uh, of my pot uh, in Bitcoin anyway. So I'll, I'll still be able to enjoy, you know, some of those gains. Um, and then just wait for, for the actual pullback, which should be coming, uh, you know, may, maybe I, I still think it's going to be coming uh, after we hit that $10,000 mark. Um, I, I think we'll definitely see that. Um, and let me bring out the uh, retracement tool here. I think we're going to have to go to the one day to make things easier on ourselves. Uh, starting down here. And just uh, we'll use this pivot point here, which should also line up with a prior high back over here. Actually, let's I'm going to use this prior high here. And so you can see about a 30 or 40 percent retracement. I think we're we're going to get into the golden pocket here, the golden zone here, where we're uh, in in the um, in the six uh, lower six thousand dollar range. Uh, right in here again is what I've been telling you guys is is a good buyback zone. Um, usually, if we it, and and again, it's it's about a 35 to 40 percent retracement. If we do see Bitcoin hitting the ten thousand dollar mark again, then uh, look for a pullback around this area, around 35 to 40 percent um, retracement here in the golden pocket. And then uh, surely, you know, I'll be buying some there and just watch where it does what it does from there. Uh, I doubt that we'll see anything lower than that. Um, let me draw this other trend line here um, so we can clearly see this will be another line of support here, a big line of support. Um, if, if we do have in the breach this the 618 on the downside, um, then, you know, we can definitely, you know, and, and, and look at that. It, it also lines up with our uh, Fibonacci, the, the, the 78 uh, down here. <clears throat> uh, so um yeah look 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 for those levels of support on the way down once we do make that move again i think we're going to hit the ten thousand and then start to make that correction um but you know that's that's just my opinion i don't trade my opinion neither should you i uh, just do this for fun and enter entertainment so hopefully you're getting a kick out of this too and uh making some money while while doing that so um taking a sip of uh water here my mouth is kind of dry Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. But um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> we'll, we'll assess once we get back into these levels here. We'll we'll, we'll assess again. Um, I, again, that's still going to be a bullish move. Um, and then we should see some higher highs, um, going forward after that. So looking forward to that. I've actually got some money on the sidelines waiting for that pullback. Um, so definitely looking forward to that. Uh, and hopefully you're also maybe maybe your your uh, daily cost averaging into Bitcoin, um, and you know maybe hopefully you have some money pulled aside for you know when the dip comes. So good enough there. I'm also going to take take a look at um, XRP because I, as I told you guys in my last video, we are about to get a golden cross pretty soon. Um, in fact, we just got another. Oh, there it is. I actually, guys, I had not looked at this chart today. And look at that. It's confirmed. And look at what it did. Jesus Christ, guys, I should have bought this last night. I was thinking about this. I was watching this candle thinking, man, man, I, I should probably buy into it since we are pretty close to hitting that golden cross. And then I just, I just didn't do it because... I thought, let's wait for confirmation. This is the thing to do. We we don't play on emotions. We actually wait for, wait for uh, correction. Bad on me. I completely missed this. I completely missed this. But guess what, guys? Um, it, it's not over. This is just the beginning of this run, in my opinion. Uh, again, don't trade my opinion, but I, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, after the Golden Cross, we've seen it here on Bitcoin as well, uh, when we got the Golden Cross on a daily chart. Um and uh, I mean, just look at it, right? The 55 crossing the 200, the 200 uh, to the upside and look at this. I mean, it just has not and it, it has gone on a rip and has not even stopped for a minute. So um, same kind of scenario here. I expect um, definitely XRP to break out some more. 
Uh, definitely, this is only the beginning of that run. Um, unless, again, Bitcoin, for some strange reason, decides to dump uh, on a premature end of a run here. Uh, as I was telling you uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, I think we're going to finish this move going up to the 10K area and then move back. So, But if for some reason it abandons the plan and just decides to take a, a, a big dump on the market, then you know this will stifle XRP's run. Uh, and we're probably going to see this green exponential, the, the 55, uh, cross the 200 to the downside. And that's just going to be a death cross and going to take us down to pretty significant lows. Uh, again, when Bitcoin dips, the altcoins dig, uh, sorry, dip a little harder than uh, Bitcoin does. So uh, watch out for that, guys. Just make sure you, if you'd like to um, set a stop loss, you know, go ahead and do it. I, I don't, I don't like I've told you before. I don't like to set stop losses on crypto markets just because they're super volatile, and we do get hunts to the downside. Uh, a lot of times and, and just you know liquidates a lot of shorts and liquidates a lot of a lot of your stop losses only to be bought back immediately afterwards and you know just kind of messing up your your game plan so um i i don't do it i just try to watch it again I, I try to live trade as much as i can if i can keep an eye on it i do uh and try not to leave things to fate um uh, unless i'm feeling pretty strong about a, a certain move like i am currently feeling about xrp's golden cross here um in that case you know I'm, I'm i'm i can't tell you what to do guys again this is what i'm doing but <clears throat> i'm definitely going to be buying into xrp sometime soon hopefully you know if there is a retracement if bitcoin does decide to uh um you know come back down and retest this area here then it'll probably be a good time for me to to go ahead and enter um, my official position on uh, xrp and I'm planning to hold. I'm planning again, planning on holding on to that um, for as as long as the run continues, or for as long as Bitcoin continues to go up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know stay in that position uh, until it's no longer the trend, and we see a trend reversal. Trend reversal. Um, and for that, you know, for me to, to when I say that, you know, again, we we need to see a 35 to 40 percent uh, retracement. Um, again, while um, we can certainly do that, and we can still pretty much say that we're still within the bullish scenario, uh, the expected move, or however you want to call it. Let me take another sip of this water because I'm I'm really um, my mouth is really dry. Mm. Oh wow! I don't know what's wrong with me tonight, but. Um, but yeah, so um, definitely look out for that. Again, not financial advice. You guys are probably following your own strategy, doing your own thing. So um, that's that's just what I'm doing. Uh, and speaking of, look at Bitcoin. It's um, trying to make a, a quick little run. We started at, I think we started this video at around 8690-ish. And we've since gone up about 60 bucks. So not bad. Not bad for a um, for a um, just ordinary Wednesday night. All right, so getting into other news, um, as I was telling you guys earlier, um, Bitcoin SV went on a tear, um, was up ninety percent, over ninety percent, um, a couple hours ago when I when I checked it. Um, and I, I found this, you know, I kind of went in online and started looking for, you know, what's the reason behind this run, and it turns out that the pump is actually a fake, um, based on fake news, right? Um, so this pump is, is is probably going to end pretty quickly. Um, some, um, I don't know, some Chinese group um, sent out a message saying that uh, on WeChat, uh, WeChat is, is China's kind of Facebook. It's their largest social media platform. And uh, they sent, sent out this, this message saying that um, Craig Wright had actually transferred 50,000 Bitcoin from um, one of the original Satoshi wallets into Binance of all places, right? <laughs> we know Binance delisted uh, BSV um, last month because of Craig Wright's behavior. Uh, and, um, you know, this message just seems like the stupidest, dumbest thing to go off of. 
and just, you know, decide to put your money into Bitcoin SV. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's definitely true. And we see it on the price of BSV, um, the artificial pump um, based on fake news. So hopefully, um, you know, if you did your due diligence, um, you didn't decide to go and buy into that a pump and dump. Um, so mm, hopefully you didn't do that. I'm definitely staying clear from BSV. And also, as I told you guys, even if I wanted to, Binance did delist them. So, um, you know, there's no, there's no way I could have done that myself. So I'm glad that's actually the case because I could have been tempted. Um, you know, we, we, we all make mistakes. So um, definitely happy that that didn't happen. And, uh, you know, sorry for uh, those of you who bought into that. Um, you know, you just have to do your due diligence and, and just, uh, you know, make sure that you know what's going on prior to any moves like that. So definitely expect a pullback um, sometime soon. Um, you know, can't tell you what to do, but I think you already know what to do. Um, so moving on, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the uh, this this post by this guy Ray Dalio, who is founder of the largest uh, largest um, hedge fund, um, and just you know his opinion on what the trade wars and and they, in his opinion, we are entering into a very dangerous territories as far as trade wars. He's basically saying how the these trade wars are are actually exceeding the initial purpose or the initial idea behind them, and they're getting actually pretty nasty and into dangerous territories where it might, you know, it, it's sort of a slippery slope where we might end up in a really really bad spot with Chinese uh, government and you know the, the the whole trade war thing that's going on. Um, also. Um, I guess China is um, menacing with um, shorting the supply of precious metals that, that are being utilized to build a lot of electronics that, that we use here in the U.S. Um, you know, for example, one of the things that would be affected is, you know, probably your Apple product, your iPhone, iPad, iMac, you know, all these products are probably going to go up in price if we continue going down this path. So it's definitely not a good thing. These trade wars continue to, to escalate and, you know, the, the outlook on this thing is just not a positive one if we keep going down the slippery slope. So hopefully this will turn around. And, you know, definitely another thing that that really correlates positive, positively with this type of news is, you know, if we look at the, the S&P, the SPY um, here, you know, look at this. Um, and I think I'm looking at the daily. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I mean, just breaking down into this price action here, breaking down through all these support levels, just you know, breaching all of these uh, moving exponentials and getting to, getting down to really a dangerous zone, right? If we if we get down here to the the uh, the three seven seven here, um, that's going to be our last, pretty much almost our last um, line of support here. And then if we breach um, this um, simple 200 over here, I think, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, 200 EMA over here, the purple line. If we breach that, I mean, it, it could really just be a free fall, right? Um, there might be a little bit of support down here in this area. But other than that, guys, if these trade wars continue the way they're going, uh, the S&P and uh, the NASDAQ, all these, these you know, traditional stock market exchanges and markets are, you know, are going to be in real danger because these are correlated markets, right? These, these traditional stock markets, they, they're very correlated. If you look at, you know, their, their uh, different charts, they all kind of look at the same, uh, they, they all kind of paint the same pattern. So if one goes down, it's because maybe another one's already making a move or, or because this one's making a move another maybe the nasdaq is going to make a similar move so um definitely not a good thing for um for us or, or anybody in the uh in the uh traditional markets if you're trading that um you know just be aware of that 
as we see that it, you know, ever since um, the beginning of the year, we've been seeing, you know, this sort of, this sort of, um, you know, tailing off and uh, reduction or not reduction, but uh, retracement in the S&P um, and other um, alike markets. So uh, stay safe out there, guys. Um, definitely keep up with the news. And then lastly, I just wanted to share this. I'm going to play this little short video for, for you guys um, from Tim Draper, who is, of course, one of the biggest proponents uh, of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, uh, again, with another bullish uh, another bullish um, message. And I'm just going to play this for you because I thought it was lovely. And, uh, you know, here you go for your viewing pleasure. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, uh, he goes on to say that, uh, you know, Bitcoin is his own market. It's his own beast. There we go. Why bother? Right, exactly. So I, I definitely agree with Tim here. Uh, Bitcoin is starting to, you know, come into its own. Uh, and I think more and more people are definitely catching on to the fact that, you know, Bitcoin is its own market. It's it's not tied to anything, um, doesn't pair up with anything else. Um, it, it's just kind of doing its own thing and forging its own path, right? So uh, more and more people, I think, are waking up to that. And that's definitely a, a good bullish sign more adoption certainly down the road um and again uh, just more bringing more stability more validity to the crypto markets and bitcoin overall so um that's all i have for you guys thanks for joining in today thanks for watching the video let us know what you think uh, let us know your thoughts down below uh we're always uh you know reading your comments and uh definitely will um answer to any questions or um definitely let us know what you'd like us to cover in the future um, so uh, definitely also follow us on uh, Yahoo yeah, or not Yahoo, yeah, sorry, uh, Twitter. Follow us on Twitter at the Real Shot 256, and also on Instagram at the Real Shot 256. I usually will post uh, daily content. Kind of gives you an idea of where we're uh, where we're gonna be going on our next video. What we're what areas of cryptocurrency we're gonna cover on that day. So uh, definitely make sure to follow us, like the video if you if you like the content you feel you you know got something useful out of this uh and if not you know give us a th thumbs down and and you know we're always open to criticism uh, let us know how we can improve on the channel all right guys so that's all i got for you have a good night thanks for joining the uh, nightly crypto show here with your host the real shot 256 thanks guys have a good night